Okay, Rich, what are we playing this week then? So this week I thought we'd go back to the very start. So we're actually going to play Pong on this uh, first generation Pong machine. So obviously Pong was one of the most important games ever made. It was probably the first popular video game in existence really because prior to this there were some games that were quite notable but they were on mainly on like sort of mainframe computers so you could only really play them on campuses because this hardware was like thousands of pounds effectively but this brought video gaming to the masses uh, first in the arcade machines and then later when it was uh, made into home versions have you got any experience of the game at all have i got any experience of pong <laughs> yes yes i have some experience of pong yeah i mean i i actually played a pong machine back at the time and sort of, but well it was wasn't actually the time it was more like the late 80s because my um next door neighbor's brother had like a pong old pong machine obviously it was very out of date or even then because these machines came out before even i was born you know mm. so they're sort of before my time a bit do you want to see if we can get it working then let's um, give it a go yeah i mean this is a very temperamental pong machine unfortunately it, it actually goes black and white sometimes so if you turn it upside down <laughs> usually the color comes on if you turn it the right way up the color goes off <laughs> <laughs> so we're probably gonna have to play it upside down i would thought which is a bit of a of a pain but hopefully it will last out do you want to go for it then? let's go for it go oh it's slow we thought it was going down but it's not <laughs> oh uh. yeah uh-huh yep oh Rolling viewing viewers. <laughs> That's a bit on fast to see. Yeah. Yeah. See, this game wasn't actually, the original game wasn't actually made by Atari as well. So, the original sort of electronic uh, tennis, or whatever you would call it, because it wasn't actually called Pong yet, was on an old console called the Odyssey One, which was the first ever video game console in the home. Mm -hmm. So, these dudes actually made like, um, you know, a home console with the first sort of version of Pong on it. Mm. but it wasn't very successful and um, it was seen by the, the dude from Atari and they decided to sort of make their own one kind of copy it but also improve the game mm. because in the original version um, you see these walls at the top and the bottom mm -hmm. they, they didn't exist so how did you what if it went off court you lost yeah, it would just go off, and you would actually there would be no there's no point scoring, so you had to write it down on a piece of paper. Ah. So really, all you had was like a black and white screen with two paddles and a ball. There was no rolls or anything like that. You had to mm. keep your own score and things. So the main thing Atari did really was um, just put more rules there and, and just mm -hmm. sort of fix the gameplay a bit. And I think they also made it so that the ball bounces at different angles depending on where it hits on the bat. Yeah, and originally it didn't do that, so that's sort of a major improvement as well. So it's not quite like Atari just ripped the game off totally, you know. They did improve it a lot. I they mean, just it, took the original idea and improved it. Yeah, I think they did get sued, and and uh, Magnavox, who made the Odyssey, they did win the case as well. So they they did get their money for it in the end. And um, not that it matters now. Nobody thinks of them anymore. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, then obviously the home versions turned up. Uh, Atari and Magnavox actually started making sort of their own versions of Pong even with all the improvements yeah one to me I take it there's no timer on this game nope do you remember when I was in oh. that um, <laughs> yeah when I was in that tournament and you, was you there at the time which tournament was the that Pong been? one no actually I wasn't the there the Eurogamer Oh yes, I was there. Yeah, I actually got to uh, the finals in like some crappy tournament, didn't I? A Euro game. <laughs> yeah, the, a Euro game at Expo. It sort wasn't of like, a crappy tournament. It's sort, sort of like a retro section of the place, didn't they? Yeah. I don't know how I ended up s signing up for it. Someone must have talked me into. I it. did. I did because I was doing the the, um, the Mario Kart tournament, if you remember, <laughs> on the snares. I can't remember. And I did that, and I got you to sign up for the Pong tournament. <laughs> I know we all did did uh, I know we all did this, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And it ended up being me versus some guy, not one of us. No, you lost though, so and, it's okay. Um, yeah, I lost right at the end. 
I was sort of panicking a bit. I was getting a bit anxious. <laughs> <laughs> a pong tournament. <laughs> the pong bat was sort of doing this because my hand was shaking. <laughs> but you know that dude? He actually served while I was looking the other way once as well. Did he? Yeah. Wow. I was oh, talking shit. to one of you guys, and then he served while while my back was turned. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> I half I half thought the um, the judge would say, you know nullify the point or something but he just carried on he didn't care that much <laughs> actually no. you could see that he, this was like not on his radar for the day really God. what is it too it's 11 oh. each point can take half an hour <laughs> oh cock right that's it I think that's done yeah ah what? Go it's on 21, first to 21. I think it must just go on forever. If that's the... Okay, yep. it goes on forever. Okay. So we just work out points to actually do it at them. We thought it was going to be 11, so we'll call it on that yep, one. Yeah, we'll call it 11. So should we do five-point games then? Yeah, five-point games with fast now. Right, are you ready then? No. No? No. You're so fast. One to me. Two more to me. This is the way to play the game, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? That went through my paddle. <laughs> Judge. Oh. Ah. Damn. Damn. Right, do you want to... One to you. So that's one to me. Only playing up to four. Yeah. Up to five, rather. Best of five. <laughs> <laughs> Aha, I didn't expect that one, did you? Yeah. Aha! Uh-oh. Looks like Chris is getting a hang of it now. <laughs> Come on, whitewash! <laughs> hey, five nil! <laughs> Damn. <Hey. laughs> <Ooh>. That wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that was my fault. What? That went right through me. <laughs> you missed. My ass. I missed that one. Jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. But it's a fair 5 nil. Okay, Rich, what do you think of the game? Well, this is, I mean, it's, a, it's one of the most important games ever made, really, isn't it? It is the first video game that really achieved a lot of popularity. It's the one that kick-started the whole scene, really. Mm. Um, obviously, it's quite difficult to compare it to anything because it's it was pretty much the only video game available in the home when it originally came out you know mm. the original pong machines obviously by the time that this later model came out there was better things but in this review we're reviewing the pong game not this actual particular pong machine mm. but yeah i mean it, it is you can see why it was would be quite fun at the time i think especially if there's nothing else like it mm. but it can get quite hectic on two players when when the you know you got the speed up quite high mm. so it's I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about, really, is no, there? Really. It's got very rudimentary sound, but there is some sound. Uh, I believe the original table tennis, the electronic table tennis on the Magnavox Odyssey, that actually had no sound at all. Mm. So at least there's some feedback to, to what's going on on the screen. Um, graphically, it's as rudimentary as you can get, really. Just sort of two lines and a ball. So there's not a whole lot to talk about outside of uh, what it meant for gaming. Mm. And I think... Gameplay wise, I think that it, it is sort of fun to play still. Mm. I think that there is still some element of it being a fun game there, you know. I don't see that many people would really want to play this these days. But at the same time, you know, if you put the ball on fast at least, then um, and you, you find someone to play it with, it's still kind of fun, I think, actually. Mm. It's quite a frenetic game, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, one thing they hadn't mentioned is the control system's quite good, I think, as yeah. well. You know, you got you feel like you've got quite a lot of sensitivity in there mm -hmm. in the controls. 
in comparison to like a joystick or whatever. Mm. So what do you reckon then? It's Pong, isn't it? Yeah. What can you say? You've got nothing to hold it up against because it was the precursor. Yeah. But that's why it's so damn important. It is the precursor. It is the mother of all games. Yeah. It really is. Without this, you have no video games, really. Yeah. So you can't really say anything graphically or, or musically <laughs> or, or present presentation-wise. It's just Pong. <laughs> And yeah. even today, it's aged well. It, it would yeah. still be quite fun to stick on for half an hour I on mean, a day. Even with the graphics being as rudimentary as they are, they're kind of iconic in, in some ways, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, that, that's another thing to mention. It is iconic to a degree that nothing else can hold itself to. My dad loved Pong in the arcades because my dad was a soldier and he was posted out to um, Malta. And Malta of all places, tiny little island. Yeah. They had a pong machine in the bar. Used to yeah. go. And you, him, him and his mates would play pong when they, when they were off duty. So this game is so important. Yeah. It's so iconic, and you can't really say anything else about it. You I can't. Mean, you can't say. You can't detract from it because it's got very rudimentary graphics and and sound because it's still pong. It's the proof of theory, really, isn't it? As well, it's the proof that this sort of gaming. There, there was a market for it yeah. to create this and you know it showed people that it was possible to make a lot of money in this industry and it, yeah. it sort of formed the industry around it well if this belly flops we don't have a video game industry yeah or it would be delayed by a long time possibly yeah. until yeah. something else happened definitely this kick started the whole age of gaming with that in mind then Rich what are you going to score it? well it's kind of difficult for me to go back to some of these old games sometimes, especially with the Atari 2600. It's difficult to get yourself in the frame of mind of people from the time because we always try to rate the games based on how they would have been perceived at the time that they came out, you know. But with this one, I mean, it's the only game really, isn't it, for a, for a long time. It's mm -hmm. the only game in existence. It, it is video gaming, effectively, mm -hmm. during, its, during that short period of time in the, in the 70s, in the mid-70s. So with that in mind, I think I'm going to have to give it the full five out of five. You know, I mean, it's a very important game. It was the only game of its type, and it was huge back in the day. So what are you going to score it then? Well, I'm going to score it full five out of five because I think this is that important to the video gaming world. Without this, we don't sit here and do this channel. Yeah. Without this, we don't have a video game industry for at least what five more years after this possibly maybe yeah. longer it could, have stalled. it could have stalled the whole video gaming industry for that long <laughs> yes there's nothing else to hold it up against but if there's <laughs> nothing else to hold it up against it's top of its class automatically yeah so it has to have the full five okay guys that's pong for this week really enjoyed the game if you liked it give us a like give us a comment and tell us what you think about it and subscribe to the channel because we're always releasing great new stuff like this and we'll see you next week in another game guys take care see ya